bit I thought I'd show you this today. Okay, because I've done the decorating of one, and um, which I showed you all that, and I'll show you how I put it together. Okay, and what I actually did. Uh, okay, this is just the cutout. Yeah, so I back that. I'm going to back it with this sort of leather, leather look card. Okay. So, um, I stitch around mine. All I done was this is about three hundred GSM. This is about one sixty, I think. I printed, and that's printed on my ink jet because I have no toner at the moment. <laughs> so I printed it again on that. So I've already used what I had actually. Um, I don't worry too too much. This is a bit slow today because I stitch mine, like I said. Uh, um, I always leave it a bit bigger and trim down, yeah. I get those two, you know, flushes where I can. Make sure, just so that you can trim down in case it's not quite right. That's what I always find. If you just cut it a bit short, it's better to just do that backing sheet a little bit bigger and then trim down rather than try and mess around if you've actually accidentally cut it too short so that's what I do okay and then I will ink up all that okay I don't mind ink splodges on here or anything like that okay because I actually distress this in a bit I, which I done on the other one see put scratches on and all sorts <laughs> okay and then on here i go right over it Right, I'm going to chump the corners on the outside. Oh, yeah. The little one, I think. The big one actually doesn't work anymore. I used it with um, double albums for years and double albums, mini albums for years. And it's blunt, I will say. <laughs> so just do that. Okay, we'll leave that just sort of settle down. Okay, then you get, I cut four pieces of card. So I've done some already rather than you painfully watch me. So I've cut four inserts, yeah. You can do it with any card. I just, um, oh, that's the back actually. Oh, I don't know what I've done with that. Here it is. Sorry, I done that with a file folder, not too thick. That's the back, okay which actually I will do first. So ignore that bit. <laughs> okay, and I'll do concentrate on the back. So we do the same. Yeah, I'm just gonna make sure that's the same size. What it is, uh, this was, was done for my laser printed, which is slightly bigger, so. And I lost it. I had no idea where it went, really. It's here somewhere. <laughs> I had to go upstairs and print again. Okay. And then round those. Oh, a minute. I'm going to go that way. Ink stain that same um, vintage photo I'm using. Walnut would be quite nice around the edges as well, actually. Okay. 
Um, don't ask me where I got this card. I've had it again a long, long time. So I'm sure there's leather effect card out there though. I would type in if you're searching it, leather, leather effect craft card. Spelt with a K. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, if you want to mottle that a bit, you just spritz a little bit of water. Just a bit of a water watermark. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Yeah, it's just eight instantly aged it, isn't it? Should we put one on the outside as well? Yeah. I think we will. Do a little bit more around the outside. So that is the back and the front. Yep. Right. And I'm sure these are fine. Yep. Okay, then you cut other pieces, okay, it's about, I reckon, quarter of an inch shorter everywhere, yeah, so I won't tell you, there's no point in me giving you my, these, because yours might print out differently, it depends what settings you have on, whether you have 100%, 95%, or uh, whether you have it on full scat paper print, or do you know what I mean? So there's no point in giving you any measurements whatsoever. It's just the inside ones are quarter of an inch, I reckon, smaller. Okay, and then that gives you an eight, 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 eighth of an inch all the way around free. Okay, right. So then you cover, cover them. Like I say, I've done those already. Any scrap pieces of paper you want. I'm going to use... You can use all your scraps up on that. Okay, get that the right way up, flip over, and then use this. Actually, I'm going to use that edge. This is, um, in case you haven't seen my other video, that is, I don't know what I'm, okay, that's what I use. I get them on Amazon by the box. Right. I find them better than the, the, this one because I find that goes a little bit too cloggy for me. Yeah, so I went on to those. I'm quite happy with that because I have got a thing about how that feels on my hands. I don't know why. <laughs> I just don't like the feel of it. And yeah, I don't mind any other glue on my hands at all. I actually quite enjoy it because I like, like peeling it off. But that is that gloopy feeling. I just, oh, it just, it just sticks everywhere. Okay. All right, so let's get it the right way. So that is there. And then on the outside, I trim down and leave that flush and then 
just round the corners of this. I didn't on the other one, but I thought I'd do that just as something different on this one. So you don't have to do this. And ink around the edges. Right, and if you're just gonna sew, I would sew now, which I will go and do. But again, you don't need to. Just make sure everything is stuck down better than if you are sewing, okay? Right. Did I, I don't think I even stitched around those. No, I didn't. I didn't stitch around the inside ones, look. So I'm going to leave that. I'll just stitch around because that looks okay. Don't need that. So I'll leave all those. Just get that nice and straight. So with the with the file folder and the two pieces of paper, that's that's a good stable, you know, without it being too thick. Okay, so I'm gonna go and stitch around the front and the back. That's all stitched around. Okay, so what you need now is some of these, some of this. Now, these might be a bit long actually, but then I'll trim off after. So, you know, I ain't worried. I'll just cut them off after. And I quite like that effect because it's all uneven. Yeah. I quite like it's nothing's really, you know, <laughs> straight. Let's have a look. Let's see if I can. Because some you'll need wider when you. I think that's a little bit too much. Yeah. I'm going to just take a little bit off actually now. Um, you get your card, which you should have four, backed and inked up, ready. Okay, put them as the book is going to be. Yeah, which I found the easiest way, like that. Yeah. Then you get your two. And that's going to stick there. Where's that one with two, just in case I accidentally use that? I'm not sure how many I need, so I might have to make some more of these. So I can't remember. And you put two on there, like that, okay? Again, I'm only sticking down lightly. If I have glue, <laughs> Uh, then I will stick down. <laughs> so you get butter nearer that edge there, but not too far because this one is slightly shorter, remember? So I was shaking them. And then you just glue that on there. Yeah, like so. And come in a little bit because, like I say, the pages are slightly shorter. So up there. and stick down like that, okay? You now flip. Okay, and now it's one, okay? Then you put your one in between there. Yep, so. Just put a bit of glue on. Like that. And that goes in the middle. Yeah. Then you flip. Okay, and that goes. So that's now lying in between there, like that. And then these go on to there. Yeah, it is a little bit long, I think. But that's okay, we can cut them off after. So I'm going to glue here. And there. And I'll just glue that bit down, then I can trim that. And that goes. Like 
that goes there, right? Now we go back to two. Yeah. Flip. And then we glue that one down, the one. Okay. So because we've glued that one down, now we do one here. I am going to need some more of these. Let's glue down, yeah, flip. Okay, and now we glue down the two. Okay, now we need two of these. Right, I did have it somewhere. There it is. Um, bed linen, you know, old sheets, that sort of thing, old pillowcases or anything like that. Any cotton, really. Well, it doesn't have to be cotton, but I just like things that fray. So this is sort of collar, col this is cotton definitely, I think. Might be able to get two out there. Yeah, that's a bit wide, that one actually. And a bit mad on that one. Okay, so we were back to two because we just stuck them down. Okay, flip. And line up yep. and then glue down the one. Okay. And then we're back to one. You might have to maneuver this one a little bit if you don't centralize that, which We'll see in a minute. So that goes there, then you flip. Oh, might not need that one. It's me, I would. When I finish, because we're not going on again, are we? We haven't got any more. So that's that. So this is now going to be the back. So leave that alone. Don't need any more. <laughs> I'm carrying on. And then line up there. And then glue these down.
Okay, now if you, if I'm, like again, I'm sewing mine, okay, there we go, but you don't need to, if you stick them down really well, okay, and that is that, yeah, like that, and then what I will do is I'm going to And that's okay right so that's the book as is yeah but i am going to just go and stitch mine down there each one of those well that one that one and that one all right so i'll go and do that and then i'll come back and then it's just a grommet and then decorate and i'll scratch up about a bit of that i think here we go just stitched all around there now yeah don't you know i find when i put it in my sewing machine um i find when i do it i put this to the right hand side not the left if you know what i mean normally you would sew like that wouldn't you it seems to be and then the the actual thing butts up against then and then it stitches down okay all right which that's what i find right now what i'm going to do now is just is sort of scruff this up a bit. I might even put, I can put a watermark on this one. Okay. I'm gonna make that, I need it scruffed up a bit. I'm actually going to go over with that. This is, this is inkjet, not lasered, so. I'm going to do that. And then a little bit of watermark. And then a grommet, which I just do that, and then I can do them both together. Well, not both grommets, but both holes. Get these out of the way. 
Okay, and then two bits of string. Um, which way will I prefer? That's all right. There you have it. That's a Cornish. <laughs> there you have it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> there we go. Done. Okay. And that was that one. And this is the decorated one. Yeah. which there's a video on this. Okay. Yeah. Done. <laughs> well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that helpful. And um, I'll speak to you all later. Bye-bye.